El conflicto palestino-israelí ha sido una pieza central del mundo de las noticias por muchos años. Un grupo de diseñadores de sistemas decidió tomar el desafío pero en otro rumbo, dándole a la gente la posibilidad de tener una idea de la complejidad de este conflicto. El resultado es Peacemaker, un juego de computación interactivo en el que se puede jugar a ser el primer ministro israelí o el presidente palestino y enfrentar los mismos retos que ellos enfrentan diariamente. Hablamos con uno de sus creadores, el israelí Asi Burak, sobre el poder del juego para crear entendimiento sobre el otro lado del conflicto. What you just said is the core of our creation, the whole idea that you can play both sides. I mean, the problem with the news today, with, with the way people conceive information, is that it's only one-sided. No matter where we are, even in the U.S., we get one-sided picture, one-sided perspective. And what you, you could do with an interactive game like ours is basically give more than one perspective. People can play both sides, people can feel for the first time in their life what it is to be in the shoes of the other side. What, what does it mean to make choices as the Palestinian side or the Israeli side, and what are the consequences? And many people come back to us and say that they got a revelation out of playing the other side. Uno no puede dejar de preguntarse cuán realista puede ser un juego así y si puede llegar a captar lo intrincado de las políticas internas de ambos bandos. On the Israeli side, you can't just make concessions and expect that everyone will follow you. We try to really simulate the, the idea that in Israel the security has top priority. Same in the Palestinian side. Hamas and Fatah are both very important for the Palestinian president, and he has to talk with both of them to reach a solution, if, it, if possible. Según su creador, el juego no es tendencioso por el hecho de que él es israelí. I'm an Israeli, and, and for that reason, I think that actually we made extra efforts to stay balanced. We went to Palestinians, and uh, a few of them were part of the creation. They gave us feedback uh, from the first minute. Uh, later on, when we had uh, more advanced versions, we went to Palestinian organizations. So I think that from both sides, we got at the end of the day a good feedback, and I think that the fact we created two versions helped us because we could actually show two sides and, and we could show on each version of the game what that side really cares for. And for me as, as an Israeli it was an amazing process because for the first time I sat with Palestinians, you know, walking with them. It's not only talking with them, I'm actually creating something together. Parece que el peacemaker ha causado impacto y quizás se puede ser optimista y guardar la esperanza de que este sea solo el comienzo de una serie de juegos interactivos con impacto social.